Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and I'm going to show you how to reset your Xbox One to factory default. That means erasing everything on the Xbox One and returning it to as if you just plugged it in for the first time after you brought it home from the store or wherever you got it from. Now, before we do this, make sure that you understand that this is going to erase everything. It will, it will erase all game saves, all downloaded games, and everything else that you might have on your Xbox One. However, you can recover your games that you've already purchased online through the digital downloads by signing in with your gamer tag. Everything else you'll probably lose unless you can back it up to the cloud. And at this time, at least at the time of this recording, you cannot back up to a memory stick. So please keep that in mind. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's find our settings app. Now you can see it's right here. But if you don't have it right there, you'll need to find My Games and Apps or speak to your Xbox and ask it to go to Settings. So we'll go to My Games and Apps. And again, I've been in it recently, so it's in the upper left. But if you don't have it there, just scroll to the right until you find it. And once you locate it, just go into Settings. Once you're in Settings, we just want to go to System here. And you can see it's already highlighted for me. But we can just move over to System, go into System, and from here on out, it's pretty straightforward. Go down to Restore Factory Defaults, move over to Yes, and hit A. And this will completely erase everything as it says here. It'll erase all accounts, apps, games, saved games, and settings. Now, before you can do this, you need to make sure you have the password removed. And if you don't have that password, you'll either need to contact Microsoft or get a hold of either a parent or whoever has the password before you'll be able to do this. Once you have that out of the way, you'll be able to hit yes, and everything will reset to factory default. It's pretty straightforward, but if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment in the comments below, and I'll try to answer any questions you might have. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.